Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to model this cube with holes. The holes go through every side of the cube. It's a reasonably simple um, modeling activity to get used to using the round tool and the sketching tools. <clears throat> I'm going to close that. And the first thing you need to do is select your working directory. So I've created one in my Creo folder called Holy Cube. Let's hit OK. You don't need to type anything. I'm going to choose New and I'm going to call this Holy underscore Cube and tick O, oh, press OK. OK, once that starts, you get your modeling environment. You can choose each plane in the modeling environment from the model tree by clicking on top, right or front, or you can click on them in the modeling environment. We are going to select the top plane and then we're going to choose sketch. When it turns flat two dimensions, this is called sketch view. You can also get the sketch view by clicking this button here. We're going to go to the rectangle tool and we're going to choose center rectangle. We're going to go to the middle. We're going to left click once and drag out a rectangle and left click to complete. Then we're going to set the dimensions by clicking the dimension tool. We're going to make this a 30 millimeter by 30 millimeter square. And if you use the refit button, brings us back to the middle. OK, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and tick OK to complete the sketch. I'm then going to come across and press extrude. Now you will see if you move this button here by left clicking and dragging, the extrude has come from our sketch one side. What I want you to do is go up to depth, click on depth and choose symmetric. That now allows the extrude to go both sides of the sketch evenly. And we are going to set the total depth of our cube to 30 millimeters. And then we're going to tick OK. Now you need to go to file and save. You do not have to type anything. You just press OK because it's going to your working directory. OK, the next step is to start to draw the sketches on each face. So I'm going to hover over one face of the cube. It will go a slightly uh, shade of red and then I'm going to left click and it should go dark green. I'm then going to go up and choose sketch. I then want you to go to the circle tool, click down and choose center and point. Go to the middle of your cube, click once, left click, drag out a circle, click again to stop the circle and then click the dimension tool to create the dimension. We are going to set this at 15 millimeters diameter and then press enter. Now tick OK to complete the sketch and click on extrude. Now, if you use the mouse wheel as a button, you can rotate, click in and move the mouse. And we can now drag the extrude down into the model. And we're going to go all the way through to 30 millimeters, which is the other side. If it doesn't extrude here, you must click to make sure that remove material has been turned on. And then we're going to tick OK. We're now going to rotate it and we're going to repeat that skill. We're going to choose this face. We're going to choose sketch. We're going to use the circle tool. We're going to click in the middle, drag out, click once, use the dimension tool 
and double click and set that at 15 millimeters diameter. Tick OK, extrude, rotate, push the cylinder down through the model and set the depth to 30 millimeters. You should now see it going all the way through. Make sure it says remove material is turned on and tick OK. Right, so now we've just got one more face to draw through. Hover your mouse over so it goes a shade of red. Click on it once, it should go dark green and then choose sketch. Now choose the circle tool again. Go to the middle, left click once to drag out a circle. Left click again to complete that circle. Choose the dimension tool and we are going to set that dimension at 15 millimeters diameter. Now go across and tick OK. Come across and choose extrude. Press the scroll wheel in and then move your mouse to rotate. Click and drag down into the model and set the depth to 30 millimeters which will go through the cube and tick OK. If you choose the display style, uh, sorry, this one here, standard orientation should turn it back to isometric. So this is the saved orientations standard orientation. OK, now we are going to use the round tool. So what we are going to do now is we are going to put a radius of five millimeters on all edges of the cube. So I pressed enter and I'm going to hover over the edge and click once and it puts a five millimeter radius. I'm going to do that to all of the edges that I can see on the cube. I'm clicking, I'm drag, I'm clicking in the scroll wheel and moving the mouse to rotate the cube. I'm going to click or press in the scroll wheel to rotate again. Hover over the edge, each edge that I can see. Rotate around, hover over this edge. And each time it will put the five millimeter radius onto the edge click on here and I've just got one more edge to do or two more edges to do here and here I'm then going to rotate it to make sure I've done all of the edges which I have I'm going to tick OK and the final steps now is that I'm going to choose the round tool again but this time I'm going to set the radius to two point five millimeters and I'm going to put the radius on the inside of the circle edge. <clears throat> I'm going to do that to all of the holes on each face. Rotate around. Rotate around. Rotate around. Press the scroll wheel in and move your mouse to rotate around. I think now I've got all of those, so I'm going to tick OK. And finally, inside the model, you can see some edges. I'm going to choose round again. I'm leaving it set at 2.5, which you can see here. And I'm going to scroll in and try and identify each edge. And I'm going to click on those edges to round off the inside. I'm going to have to rotate the model to find different edges. So now I'm going to choose these three edges here. And then I'm going to rotate that model again and choose these three edges here that I can see. So you need to make sure your mouse is hovering over the edge. It should come up edge. 
I'm going to rotate the model again. I can see an edge here, three edges here. Oh, I haven't quite clicked on an edge there. There we go. There's an edge. Edge. And an edge. And that should, I think, have completed all the internal edges. Yeah. And then I'm going to tick OK. And then I'm going to go to Applications. I'm going to go to Render Studio. This is where you can see that the materials and apply different materials. So I'm going to go up to Appearances and I'm going to choose the PTC Metallic Aluminium. I click on it, I'm going to select the part and choose OK. And now I've applied the aluminium to the cube. I'm going to click down on the material. I'm going to right click the aluminium material to edit it. And I'm going to just reduce the gloss down a little bit so it's not so shiny. So it looks like brushed aluminium. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to the scenes. I'm going to go to edit scene. And I'm going to go to background. And I'm going to click down and choose color. This will get rid of the gray in the background, which means that we are more focused on the model. Choose perspective. Press the scroll wheel to position your model and then choose render. You will need to select the browse. Name your model. I'm going to call this Creo, Creo rendering. And press save and press render and that will render a picture of your final holy cube with an aluminium finish and put that into your working directory experiment with the different effects on the renderer there's lots of different features that you can play